this is a family fun night, and this is a way for parents to come with their children to have physical activity and learn basic concepts. You can have them stand on one number, throw the die, add the number to that. We have volunteers come. They're often teachers or parents. We train them in how to run the different stations, and then the parents and the children go from station to station doing the different activities. It's, it's been an amazing program. It's, I love that it's supplemental to our core curriculum, and then spreads out uh, from a cross-curricular standpoint. It's a really nice springboard, and it really seems to support our Math and Focus series uh, in a way that kind of gets kids tired out at the same time. I liked Math and Movement because there's fun games. There's like hopscotch, and it like helps you learn. Kind of helps them to get moving, and their body's moving, and at the same time their brains, and sometimes kids learn differently by moving instead of just doing it on paper, so it, it works really well. There is an activity guide that the parents can follow. There are questions that the students are asked in the activity guide. They could either do the activity guide or the kids can just jump on the mats to get the exercise. This particular event is sponsored by Turner Construction. They wanted to give back to Schenectady. Banks, attorney's offices, doctor's offices, dentists, they've all sponsored family fun nights. Any school that's interested in a family fun night, we almost always can get a sponsor. I think it's creative, colorful, and fun. The kids are gonna love this. I wish we had them in the classroom every day. We know that the Common Core has two parts to it, fluency and deep understanding, and this kind of connects both of those, but it really strengthens their fluency understanding. Generally, children have sedentary lifestyles. They're not playing outside like they used to. This gets them up and moving. They retain information significantly faster than the sit down, stay still approach.